Is the following chemical equation balanced? We have C5H12 plus O2 yields 5CO2 plus H2O, and I'd like you to try to figure out if this is an example of a balanced chemical equation, yes or no, and if you have no idea how to do this, don't worry about it. Uh, that's what we're here to learn. So let's have you pause the video, try this out if you want to, and then we'll go over how to do it. Okay, so basically when we see a chemical equation like this, all right, uh, the substances that are on the left-hand side of the equation over here are called the reactants, and this arrow means yields. And over here, this is called the products, all right? 5CO2 plus H2O. So we would say C5H12 reacts with O2 to yield 5CO2 uh, and H2O, all right? But the most important thing is to, is to be able to determine if this is balanced or not. So when I say the left-hand side of the equation, I'm really talking about everything to the left of this arrow here. Okay, so everything on this side. So let me write here LHS. LHS stands for left-hand side of the equation, all right? So we've got carbons, we've got hydrogens, and we've got oxygens. And you don't have to know what these stand for for the GED, all right? You can just think of these as we've got Cs, We've got H's, and we've got O's. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to count these up, and we're going to see if they match. We're just going to count these up, and we're going to see if the number on the left-hand side matches the number on the right-hand side. All right, that's all we're doing. So it looks like if we look at the carbon, we see this little number down here. That tells us that we've got five C's, all right? So for the H's, Right beside the H's, we see 12, so we've got 12 H's. Now, if we look at our O's, this little number down here tells us that we have two O's. All right, and that's simple enough for the left-hand side. So now we're just going to take stock of what we have over here on the right-hand side, and we're going to see if the numbers all match up. And if they match up, we'll say that this is balanced, and if they don't match up, then not balanced. So RHS just stands for right-hand side. So let's start with our carbons. So in this case, we see that we've got a five out here. All right, so we have to apply this five to the carbon. So we have five C's on the right-hand side. All right, so now let's go down here and let's skip to the oxygens. So we see over here that we've got O2, but we also have to take this five into consideration, all right? So five, times 2 is 10. So we have 10 oxygens here, but we also have to consider this one oxygen out here. All right, so 10 plus 1 out here is 11. So already we see that this is not balanced, but let's finish it out here. So for our H's, we just look at this little number down here and we see that we have 2. Okay. So this is not an example of a balanced chemical equation, so the answer to this is B, no. Okay, so now we have that same chemical equation right here, and this time what I would like you to do is try to balance this, and we don't have multiple, answer cho multiple choice answers here, so I'd just like you to try to work the problem out and try to come up with the answer on your own. And if you have no idea how to do this or if you get stuck, don't worry, don't stress out about it, just give this one a shot, and either way, right or wrong, we're just going to go over it and I'll explain how to do it. So now would be a good time to pause the video and give it a try. Okay, so let's talk about this question here. So when we're balancing, the most important thing to know is what you can and cannot change. So the numbers out front here, these numbers are called coefficients. And if we don't see a coefficient, we just say that it's 1. So for this H2O here, we would just say that the coefficient here is 1. Same with this O2, we would just say that the coefficient here is one because we don't see a coefficient, all right? And the thing here is that these coefficients, we can change them, but these little numbers here that are called subscripts, we can't change those, all right? So when you're balancing, just remember that you cannot change these little numbers here, all right? So don't try to change those little numbers. It's the numbers out front that you want to change when you're balancing. So that's really the most important thing to know about balancing. All right, before we even jump into the question. All right, you have to kind of understand the rules of the game. And the rules are that 
the coefficients out front here, you can change these little numbers here called subscripts, you can't change those. And I don't care if you remember that these are called coefficients and these are called subscripts, just remember the numbers out front, you can change the little numbers here, you can't change. So now that we're clear on that here, all right, where I'm gonna start is I see that we have 12 hydrogens on the left-hand side and only two on the right-hand side. So this H2O here, I'm gonna start by changing this. So if I have two and I wanna to get to 12, well, two times six is 12. So if I put a six right here, six times two is 12. So I'm gonna stick a one here. So we now, that will give me 12 hydrogens if I put the six here. So now if we look, the number of hydrogens are balanced up on each side of the equation, which is good. But there's also this oxygen here. So we, we now have to see by putting this six here, how does it change the number of oxygens? All right, so let's recount. So we see here we've got five times two is 10 oxygens, so that's not changed. And here we do six times one, which is just six, and we add these up. All right, so 10 plus six is 16. All right, so we have 16 oxygens on the right-hand side. So again, all I did to count that up was I looked at the five CO2, and I said, well, here are, there's 10 oxygens because it's five times two. Then I looked at the six H2O and I said, well, now that we have a six here, six times uh, one is six. And you add that up, 10 plus six gives me 16, all right? So our oxygens are now unbalanced. So what I have to do is I'm gonna look at the oxygen on the left-hand side here, and I'm gonna stick an eight here. And if I stick an eight out in front, eight times two is 16, all right? So now this is balanced up, all right? So when we count everything here, we see the carbons are both fives, we see our H's are twelves, and our O's both are 16, which is perfect, all right? So this is a perfectly balanced chemical equation right here. So if you got this answer, you did a really, really good job. Um, if you didn't, don't worry about it. Good job for trying, good effort. You know, just by making it this far into the video, you know, you're doing a really, really good job. So either way, I hope that this was a learning experience on balancing.